Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel once again for another day of the Lamy Vlogs but in today's video we're taking a little bit of a turn away from the U's as officially it's the days that these ladies start lambing so that is the U lambs and the Borderlester so super exciting day and fingers crossed we're going to get to see some Borderlester's lamb in not too long not forgetting the ewe lambs, they're important too. So guys, I hope you enjoy. If you do, please tap that like button, subscribe to the channel, and most of all, I hope you enjoy. Well, I guess it is now just a waiting game. It's been a while since we've had any lambs. We are now down to 21 ewes left. Oh, the cage pens are increasing in sizes. We've now got six. I wanted zero. 52 and 94. That is a work in progress. Really, really good news. We remember the big lamb that had the splints on one leg wasn't so good. Well, now both his legs are all okay. And to top it off, we now have eight or nine using lambs ready to go outside. This lamb, my friend, is an escape artist. You, mate, just seem to live, live for the escaping. Okay. Oh, no. oh. Lamb, mate. Please try and get me that. <laughs> Little bugger. Got ya. Little bugger. All right, you're in there. Before I was rudely interrupted, I'll get some using lambs out, then we'll be back. Fingers crossed, there's gonna be some bored Leicester lambs. And we got soap on speed dial. As soon as that bag comes out, she'll be here. Another load ready for us. Oh. It's not the warmest day, but it's nice and dry. For some more ladies from our grass. So, in here we have a ride mix. We have some low numbers, so we have 45 and 46. You have some fresh numbers, the 170s, as well as 128, which is the one that had the dodgy leg that uh, we fixed last night. So that is top notch. Now we just got to get the lambs out for them. And that is another load. Don't we are getting somewhere? I think I've actually just tagged the 300th lamb before we came here. That is super exciting. We were predicted, I worked out earlier, 391 lambs. Obviously you lose some. We'll be really interested to see how many we end up at the end of lambing. This has been stuck in a pen for about two weeks. I know it's not good because it's mum just had a bad bag. But finally it's come right. Just look at him. Absolute unit of a lamb. There's a fair few other blacks on that load. Right, right, we'll leave them to all pair up. I'm going to go and feed. Just want them away from the car because I don't want any flat lambs. Yous got the heads down. That's one thing. As soon as you let them out, they use a straight heads down. Give them a minute and then they go find the lambs. Out the way, lambies. Out the way, out the way. Come on. Come on, out the way. The end is definitely in sight now. And also, that lamb that we rescued in the last video from across the river, he's doing right, all in with the cades. You'll see him earlier, 107, but yeah. When we get back, also we've got super exciting news. So we let 52 out of the yoke with a 94 lamb. Really positive. She didn't like him the first time, but the second time, well, you'll see in not too long. Lammy, you appear to be on the wrong side. <laughs> Got him! Right, you go that side, you go back to your mum. Stay that side. Hopefully, none are on the other side of the river today. So, I've never had that foot before, and I've been thinking, the only real way it could have got over with the river, how high it is, possibly a prey bird's picked it up and dropped it, because <coughs> to get over where it was, you'd have to go through fences and all sorts, and. I just can't see it going over the river. It's up to my waist. 
and a little lamb like that, unless something scared the shite out of it and chased it. Just can't see it really, but funny one. Woo! The temperature is dropping, but next week it is going to be a cold one. Everyone's about like this beast from the east. Not going to lie, this is probably the most enjoyable bit of the day. Just had a wander around the sheep, shepherding, making sure everything is all okay. It's kind of where the skills come in of a shepherd. It's being able to spot a sheep that's not very well, or a lamb that's not very well, and get it sorted, and just having that instinct whether to leave something because you don't think it's all right, or to do something straight away, because it could be the difference for your live or dead sheep. It's just one of those skills that I really enjoy. All checked. Well, this would be pretty typical meal over, wouldn't it? So we dropped the use off, all the lambs off, I didn't realise number 176 had escaped and got in with a twin of triplets. So it looks like we've got another trip to go and drop her off with a lamb. Three, two, one. That's it. Good girl. How are you? What are you? Ah! Cock up sorted. Good girl. <laughs> good girl. So guys, we've had a visitor to the lambing shed. So Jack has come all the way from Kings Bromley. So he's gone absolutely miles to come and see us. Not really, it's not too far away. But yeah, you always come and see the sheep, don't you? You've yeah. just done a little bit of bottle feeding and you are actually into farming yourself and want to be a farmer, don't you? Yep. So do you want to tell me a little bit about what you like on the farm? So we're a fruit farm in Litchfield and we do strawberries, raspberries, blueberries and cherries. And I grew up on the farm, so I loved it. And do you like the YouTube stuff too? Yeah, quite a lot? I've got YouTube. my own YouTube channel as well. And uh, what's that for so anyone? NFP Agri. Yeah, and what kind of stuff do you do on so, there? So, um, daily vlogs, a lot of shorts. Yeah. About tractors, all kind of stuff on the farm. And then got a rest the new restoration series about the Mass Ferguson 135 and the AW trailer. See, he knows a lot more about tractors than me already. You can tell that. I'm just a sheep guy. I don't know too much about tractors. I won't even know if it's red, green, blue, what they are. I love sheep and I love every single livestock because who doesn't? Cool. Um, but yeah, I like sheep and I, th I like any breed. I don't know too many though. <laughs> now, the main thing is, it's really good to see someone your age that's into farming. So I yeah. wish you all the best going forward. Thank you. And yeah, guys, be sure to go and check out Jack's channel because I'm sure it's really cool. And Let's have a, look, a little bit more look around the sheep. Yeah. Cool. Cheers, Jack. Quick update. We are back the day after. We spoke to Jack last time you saw me. And no ewe lambs or border lessers have still lambed yet. But the numbers of the ewes are still powering down. So we have now have got two triplets, seven twins, seven singles left. So what's that? 16 left to go. And we've just had three singles born. So. Born literally not too long ago there. We got one single. We have another single there. And I've already penned one up. So three Abba Black singles all looking great. I know a lot of you can say, you have some Cades. Well, we actually sold three of those Cades because someone was after them for a little project that they had. That's a quick update. Next time you see me, hopefully we might have had a Yulan born or even a board Lester, but yeah, do what's happening They've now two days past their due date. Exciting times, guys. It's what you've all been waiting for. Sadly, it's not the board of Lester's, but... It's not what we've been waiting for. It is what I've been waiting for. Been waiting. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> There's a ewe lamb finally lambing. We've been waiting a couple of days, but it's here. So it's her. Oh, it's a single, at least. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. Easy. Oh. Too hot. <laughs> there we are. That's all, all we need. Right, darling. All right, darling. All right, darling. It's alive, it's alive. Good girl. It's a nice lamb. Yeah. Good girl. Good, mommy. Now, would you know that's a Rusan cross rather than an Abba Black cross? No. <laughs> would you? His tongue's a bit swollen. You bit your tongue, mate. It'll be right in a couple of minutes. We come at the right time. Yeah. Oh, that's good colostrum, girl. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like custard. Yeah. <laughs> She's a lamb, so sometimes the hormones wouldn't just kick in straight away, but 
give it a couple of minutes, should start licking her lips, and that lamb should be all okay. That should mean that got tucked on the same day as the border lessers, I reckon. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. We're still waiting. Still waiting. So we have just given that you lamb, sorry, you hog, whatever you want to call them, wherever you are in the country, I just call it her a you lamb for now. She has had a cracking lamb, it's up and suckling now, and her colostrum is like custard, so he's going to have a really full belly soon. She is looking lively. It was a fairly big lamb for a you lamb, to be fair, so if you just look there, he's going for it right now. But I don't want to get too close, because you don't know you lambs, I don't really want to go messing for now. So. That is just done for today guys, we are going to ca carry on with the lambing vlogs, keep updated obviously with all the ewe lambs lambing now, and fingers crossed next video we will have some border Leicester lambs, so massive thank you for watching, I appreciate all the support, again thank you to all sponsors for this series as it carries on, and once again, don't forget, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, cheers guys! Yeah.